pants. We don't need pants here on 8 bits. Uh, we've been gone for a month. That means uh, I think, like by law, we, we can't. We're looking for our pants. We can't what? wear the. Oh, we, that's that was it. Who, that was it. Who wears yeah. pants? Who who wears pants? I wear pajama pants. I know you do. Does that count? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Kind of. Maybe so. Guys, we've been gone for a month, and we are back. Welcome to version 4.0, our 40th episode of 8-Bits. We somehow managed to align the stars, the planets, the moon was in the right orbit, and uh, here we are, all three of us make it to the show right on the eve of Gamescom, right on the eve of uh, PAX, which I'm sure both of uh, all of us will be in attendance uh, at. I Yes? Yep. Oh, yes. Raise your hands. So, gentlemen... It's been a long time. Let's spend the next 40 minutes catching up on what the hell we've been doing and all that good stuff. Uh, we might have back. to break into the, the second hour with what we've been playing. <laughs> it's been a long damn time. It has it been has a long, long time. La last time I, I saw you guys, uh, JP was had a baby face. That's true. Now he has a hirsute baby face. Jeff, I love <laughs> that you say the last time, you know, really like it's been a couple years. Like, God, it feels just, that way, it, doesn't yeah, it? The reunion show already. I missed on, you guys. Here we are. It has. It is nice. It is nice to, to be back. Talk about video games. Uh, I know the lists have been long. Uh, there's mm -hmm. a, a lot of stuff going in there. But before we go into what's playing, yeah. Anything? Anything else exciting? Let's, let's going have on? one media, one form of media that we can talk about. Movies. It could be a comic book. It could be a movie. Movies. It could be a TV show. I didn't see Guardians of the Galaxy. If you guys are gonna go. Oh, oh my God! You've been working that hard. I've been working that hard. Jeff. Jesus. Jeff. Jeff. I know. This weekend. This weekend. Yes. You gotta go. Yes. You have to go. So we're gonna I know what happens at the end. What? Somebody spoiled the 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 walk on. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, don't uh yeah, definitely just yeah, it's still it'll still be amazing. We're we're going to see the turtles this weekend. And I, didn't, I, didn't, I went that from like, on my radar. I went from like low and then and then like, you know what? Fuck that. Like this is <laughs> something that as a kid I loved and I get to share sure. that with my kid. That's awesome. Like that's mm -hmm. awesome. I'm down with that. Turtles, don't disappoint me, even though I know you will. I don't know how they're doing on the rotten tomatoes. I'm sure they're down in the green. Oh, I'm sure man. it's rotten as shit, but um I'm looking forward to explosion and turtles and ninjas and shredder getting bastardized and <clears throat> All that good stuff. So I'm looking forward Who's, to it. Isn't like there a notable actor playing him? Uh, yeah, I forget his name, but he, but it, like you know him from a thousand things. Yeah, yeah, him. one of those guys. Seventeen percent. Thank you, chat. Oh yeah, rocking the Transformers level. Rotten Tomatoes. I'm trying to. Well, it's only it only has seventy reviews. Only thirteen are positive. Uh, while wow, Johnny Knoxville voices Leonardo. Oh what wow! Fuck. <laughs> he's taking kind great. of a career dive there. Well, I shouldn't say that. He's probably made a shit ton yeah, of money. Yeah, probably going to make oh, no, he's probably What am I lot. saying? You yeah. know, guys, the part that bothers me the most is Megan Fox is April O'Neil. Like yeah. they can fuck with the turtle. Like I get that they did it with Transformers, whatever. But yep. April O'Neil, Megan Fox, that's going to be the hardest. There's going to be four yeah. CG turtles on the screen, and the hardest sale for me is going to be <laughs> Megan Fox as April yeah. O'Neil. Yeah, Tony Shalhoub is Splinter. Okay. Oh wait, no, what? that's Splinter. They don't say who Shredder is. Oh yeah, Splinter. Yeah. Four you think it's going to be good? Do you honestly think it's going to be good? No, it'll and be. <laughs> it'll be horrible but be you know horrible. what it will be it'll be lots of awesome fighting the, yeah. i'm sure they'll throw in a lot of easter eggs for you know fans uh what a, whatever i'm i'm down good goodbye 40 bucks <laughs> this is this You're is the time where i wish that like because i'm going to this movie and i will undoubtedly spend like 50 bucks at concessions and all stuff that I, that i should get a digital copy of the movie as well like I'm just <laughs> that kind of feels fair. I'm looking at the, the the content. This is the future. I think I go to a theater. I, I would pay an extra 10 bucks over everything else. If I also knew that when it came out for home, boom, you know, Got I got to say that <clears throat> I mostly don't even go to the movies anymore. But if they charged me 10 more bucks and gave me that copy, that might get me in for I'm the right movie, for. not for turtles, not, yeah. for, <laughs> not for turtles, <laughs> not for but turtles. for something cool. I would do it. <gasps> Yeah, well, you'll yeah. have to let me know how that is. We, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not as interested in enough to go see it yet, but we'll see what you say. You'll know 
either how good or bad it is based off of how many ha 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 ha's there are in my tweet after I see sure. it. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Guardians basically sarcastic spoiled. ha ha ha's. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Okay. Definitely. Like yeah. Guardians is spoiled like all movies for me now. It's that and it's, good. It's, it's spoiling over like into all of my other like Jeff, the movie was so good that right. after seeing the movie, yeah. I played Marvel Heroes for like twelve hours. Come on. <laughs> like so, what is that? What let's is that put this into perspective. Is this like Godfather good? Is it that good? Uh, Here, this is uh, can I explain because I feel like there's only a few movies that exist out there and my wife and I have pegged down at least two and and JP I think will uh, will agree. But before Guardians came out, we used we used to actually say that A Team was the one movie that if you start watching it <laughs> You will uh -huh. not stop. I like. Uh -huh. I guarantee you. Like it's, it's so. My wife and I always just say, like, "Yo, is it a team good?" And you know, not a whole lot of things came up. So now you can say, "Is it Guardians good?" Wow. And then that that like holds up. So I mean, for those that know me, I okay. think that a team is like one of the greatest movies ever. Um, yeah. because it has everything it needs to have to be an amazing movie that you would just sit through and watch ten thousand times. And I feel like Guardians has that. <laughs> it was good. I, you know, I, I don't have an A team. Of, uh, I don't have a good, but I have the reverse, which is according to Jim. For me, it's like, is it a, <laughs> is it according to Jim? Bad? That's my. Oh man, That's... Jim Belushi sort of being the the poster boy for everything bad in the world. <laughs> I mean everything. Ebola. <laughs> He's the Holy Ebola of, a, of, of actors. Just Bradley Cooper, he's the key. He said they both. Have, he's right. He's right. They both have Bradley Cooper. Yeah, it's really? he's amazing. He was. He is amazing. amazing. He is amazing. He's a good actor for sure. Yes, love it. Uh, Jeff, what, what's your one bit of media that's not games that you've been? That's uh, not games. Oh, either well, okay. addicted to or or just started okay, watching. I can tell you, I, I, I've had uh, I've had my nephew visiting uh, from France for the last six weeks, staying at our house. And uh, he's learning English over here. So what he's doing? How old? Is, uh, he's uh, twenty. Okay. And uh, that's how old I am. I have a twenty-year-old nephew. <laughs> and uh, he, uh, so he's been marathoning from from episode one uh, in English, but with the English subtitles on, so he could read. You right. Know? Right. So it's easier. He's he started Breaking Bad from the oh, start. Oh snap! Which, which I've seen. Already, yeah. but watching it in one extended sequence is incredible because That's, I yeah. watched it episode to episode over mm -hmm. five Which years. Brutal. Yes. So brutal. you know there were there were certain moments like when I don't want to spoil any of it really, but there were moments where there were like epic cliffhangers where he could just start the next episode <laughs> in, in ten seconds, and yep. I was like, dude, this was one year I yep. had to wait one fucking year. Pretty much so, every finale was like that. You had to wait yes. one year to see what fucking weird. Uh, Right. thing happened that you had no idea how they were going to recover from it. Right. And, and it, it held up tremendously. In fact, I think I probably enjoyed it even more. And what, what really blew me away this time was like how, how short the, the time scale really is. You know, you don't get that sense watching yeah, it over. Because it so took true. them six years or five years to, to tell one year of a story. Right. Yep. Um, and when I thought about it later after I watched it all those years, I felt like, that can't be right. You know, like there's way more shit happened. That's just not possible. But then watching it in sequence really fast, it's like, yep, yeah, it kind of, I mean, it's not that plausible, but really you could see how it all, the domino of how it all went down. It's yep. just an amazing fucking show. It well, really is. So speaking of old, uh, old <laughs> programs, do you, are you guys both prime members? Yes. Yep. Uh, uh, how about chat chat? Are you like, I mean, I have to feel that, there's probably a great number of people who are members of Amazon Prime, but we actually what, what? random blurb. We got uh, same day shipping here in Dallas from Amazon. Holy shit! Nice. nice. You're, I, hate <laughs> I guess you got one thing. I pretty going much for hate you. Um, well, so anyway, uh, Amazon, you know, Prime has they have an app on iOS, they have a smart TV app, an Android app. You can watch on the web, all this stuff. It, it's just a ton of content. And HBO's past library of original content opened up, 
And someone yeah. had mentioned to me that they were watching, uh, that they had started watching Six Feet Under. And so, like, after my wife and I had, had just finished and we were just looking for some TV to watch, we went back and we, we actually had been watching Eastbound and Down and we finished that. And nice. we, we went back and started Six Feet Under, which, by the way, is just an amazing series. But, you yeah. know, I, I, I couldn't believe when I started it and it was in four by three. Yeah, you know, like I, true, I yeah. it's so crazy now that it's like a lot of the stuff that we watch. It's just even the old stuff. Isn't, it was isn't already the wire also four by three? Yes, it is. Right, so, it is. All, a lot you don't of think the of it old in your stuff. Head. Yeah, yeah, Oz, all of the so Oz. it's like the everything, but like Game of Thrones and and the current stuff isn't on there, but all of their old shit is on there. And guys, I'm telling you, like. There's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff that you can like watch now, but some of these like are fucking classics. They are the reason yeah. why people like Netflix said we can do original content. Like HBO yep, yep. was the original, oh yeah, uh, original content creators, and everything they did was amazing. And Oz was the first. Yeah, yeah. Oz was the first. And by the way, if if people watching are looking for a good family friendly show, Oz is certainly it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You want, you want to watch absolutely. that with your kids. It's sort of a different yep. take on, on Wizard of Oz. Yeah, you thought yep. Game of Thrones had dicks. Wait till you see Oz. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Wait till you see Oz. <laughs> Uh, but it's but it's great. It is so good. Uh, it is. It's really so. Oz was the show that you would like go to HBO and think that it was like a real sex episode, and then it turned out to be Oz. <laughs> that was, right. that was just no women. No women. Was the thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, exactly. so anyway, if you are a Prime member, then this is available to you on free. So download the app or whatever. This is not a commercial. It is like, a, yo, you guys can you you know you pay for that Prime every year, like milk every. Cent out of it you possibly can and uh and check out Sopranos. at least one of these series yeah it's a gold mine it's a gold mine yeah it's a gold it's mine. so all right i'm shutting up we gonna all right last thing my my it, it will be short and sweet uh i don't even know if you guys watch a lot of like i i guess i'm tur slowly turning into like a foodie hipster my beard has just made me enjoy yeah. food more you need a uh, fedora yeah, I need. I, I do need to go get a fedora now. Uh, but it's it just came up on. Uh, I think it's been out for about two years. Uh, yeah, season season one was 2012. But it's on PBS. It's called The Mind of a Chef, um, huh. yeah. and it's it's narrated and executive produced by Anthony Bourdain. Uh, the first cool. season follows around David Cheng, who is uh, yep. a chef out of New York. Uh, I think mm -hmm. he's most famous for Momofuku, is his noodle mm -hmm. shop or something like that. Yep. Um, but each episode, basically, they're about 30, 45 minutes long, and they, they cook a lot of dishes, and they talk about, like, it's kind of a highlight of the chef, but they also do a lot of traveling, and they're just, like, going to these crazy-ass restaurants, these crazy Michelin restaurants that have, like, the best food in the world, and they talk about the cooking process and, like, how they came up on their, like, signature dishes. And I've, like, I've watched, I think, like, nine episodes in a single night, just because mm -hmm. it's, like... One, it's amazing food porn. It's like the best food porn you can ever see in uh, on TV. And mm -hmm. two, it's actually super, super interesting to me, like watching these guys break down this actual science of food. Yeah, and like get into all of that. I, I find it simply, simply uh, amazing how all of that has kind of like gone insane the past four or five years with the science of everything behind. Yeah, food. a lot of these guys have like chemistry backgrounds now. Yeah, yeah, Stuff yeah. like that, you know. Stuff yeah, like Wiley, science. They've got Wiley Dufresne, I think is his name. Yeah. And he's a huge, huge science freak. Like, the, the, he makes dishes. I think there was one where he, uh, it was just <clears> kind <throat> of like a, uh, what was it? It was a carrot, pineapple, sunny side up. And he used pineapple juice infused with something and made it look like egg yolk or egg white. And then he took carrot and made it look like the, um, like the, the egg yolk. Put it on some weird slab, and when people order it in his dish, they get pissed, or in his restaurant, they get pissed off because they think it's an actual egg. And they bite into <laughs> it, it's like carrot and pineapple. So it takes nothing. What? Like what? That sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah, it does sound crazy. It's, so when you, watch, when you watch this stuff, JP, are you eating like a frozen burrito <laughs> and drinking Dr. I, I, Pepper? This, is, I, I'm wow, like, this food stuff's awesome. Yeah, I only watch it as I'm going to sleep, so I don't eat okay. past probably 8 o'clock every night. And okay. so, like, around 11 o'clock is when I start watching. 
by about 2 a.m., I'm just like, God, I should go get some fucking food. <laughs> 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 I have to go eat something. This is torture. This is torture. But yeah, it's it's called The Mind of a Chef. Go watch it if you have Netflix. Well, well, oh, it's on Netflix. Okay, that's what I was I think you can ask. actually watch the episodes free at pbs.com or org or whatever the website is as well. It's really good. Huge fan. Now playing. <laughs> now, all right, we're talking about video games. We got it. We got everything else out of the way. Yeah. Let's sure. do it. What do you want to talk about first? I think I'm just going to read my list, and you guys can tell me what you want me to talk about. Um, sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I, well, I think there's like an obvious one, right? So we spent like two weeks talking about Hearthstone. Probably some of our conversation got stale. Oh, my God. But Nax came out, and I know you've got to be playing some Nax, and I'd love to hear from you guys what you think about sort of the way that they've decided to release it. And, you know, just sort of what it what it has done to the metagame, because I thought it was going to have like a larger effect on the metagame, the way that they would release the cards. But actually, it's turned out to be pretty fantastic. Um, and if you guys don't know, of course, Nax, they're releasing it every week. So every week you get the the quarter with the three enemies. You have class challenges and then you have the heroics and you earn cards for each one. So, Jeff, have you. Have you completely been devouring Nax? And I have, except I don't have the military quarter yet. But I, but I beat the first two, um, and uh, I'm probably going to do military quarter today. I actually found the second. What was the second one? The one the last plague. Week. The plague. Plague. I ripped through that. It seems so easy to me. Uh, I mean, not the heroic, but the three, the three bosses I killed first time each time. So yeah. I don't know if I was, I was, I knew what to expect more with these bosses. Um, but I, I do have to say, um, and yeah, there's a lot to talk about here. We could talk about how it changed the meta, but I, it did, uh, it somehow improved my game. I don't know. I don't know why, but, uh, just a couple key cards. I'd actually given up totally on uh, shaman, which was my main dude, probably back at the time we last broadcast. And then I went on like a phenomenally epic <laughs> losing streak with the, with the shaman. Like <laughs> it was so bad. I like, I, I was I hadn't raged that hard at the game. I can't even remember the last time. I like actually why, quit. That's why I have not touched Hearthstone. <laughs> I, I uninstalled bit. it. Actually, I uninstalled it twice. Holy shit! In like two days, I like reinstalled it. <laughs> and I uninstalled it again. <laughs> then I reinstalled that it. That was your coping mechanism to stop the rage. To just exactly. And then it. actually, what happened was my iPad broke, and or the uh -oh. screen the screen shattered. I dropped it, no. so I had to go get it replaced. But that was great because it it let me. Have a chill down. out period. Yeah. And when I got the iPad back, it was like uh, I was like a new person because Next Ramus came out. Uh, my iPad was fixed. I had a more Zen, calm demeanor. I, I, I put in some of these cards and I went back to Shaman and then I just like fucking kicked ass all of a sudden. Like I, and the great thing about Hearthstone is like as bad as the losing streaks are, they really help you get back into the game with the win streaks, right? Yeah. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to get yourself back into a, a place on the ranking if you've been sucking. So I went from 20 to 14 in like the course of one afternoon and felt great. Nice. Um, the, I, I just want to. I just want to also say that uh, Shaman's been my go-to since Nax has right? come out as well. So um, what's up with that? I think actually some of the more popular tournament decks uh, are right now um are our shaman because they can play like a wide range of early mid yeah. and late game i mean um admittedly like i was using shaman and i'm like you know i bet there's a, a few more efficient ways to to figure out this deck and so um i like to go to i think it's like top deck hearthstone and uh maybe it's hearthstone top deck i don't know um, uh -huh. but they had a similar deck where I swapped out a couple cards and I must've won like yep. nine or 10 in a row. Jeff, I was like, holy shit. And then when I lost, of course I was like, bullshit, this game sucks. <laughs> yeah. It's RNG. I lost because totally. of RNG. Uh, yeah. but yeah, I, so I think like it, it, there's a lot of the top guys <clears throat> that are also using it and there's a few synergies yeah. there that work out quite well so I, I think that's what it is i also uh dumbed my deck down so I, I i finally found a way to beat uh uh the zoo decks and it's it's with that class and i've had tremendous success beating all those motherfuckers and no offense to you guys if you're zoo players um <clears throat> but uh but i found that I played a, win, uh, a few though, key so. cards will just will just destroy 
uh, will destroy that. But I did in, in the time since I last saw you guys, I did have uh, epic rage over over fucking Ragnaros. I I think that was the card that made me want to quit. Really? Someone was that someone goddamn a rag legend and an RNG the cards? It, it wasn't it wasn't one guy. I lost to that card like five games in a row. It was like and they nice. were all games that I could have won. And then this fucking card comes up comes up. And that if you don't have if you're not equipped for it, yep. it's a game ender. Yeah. Especially if it comes late game. If they play it, you know, turn nine, ten, you're and you're down in health, you're boned. Um <clears throat> but I did get over it. My last great Ragnaros moment that actually made me love the card. Once you have it, it's not a bullshit card. It's only a bullshit card when the other guy has it. Totally. Yeah. When you have when you have it, it's awesome. So I I I did a face manipulator on this guy's uh, Ragnaros. Oh wow! And then I then I hexed it, and I killed the hex, and then I taunted the Ragnaros, wiped out the rest of his guys, and and he was dead on the next turn. And and I was like, <laughs> I love this card. It's fucking awesome. It's the best. No card. wonder everybody plays it. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. What do you guys I'm, think I'm, about? I'm, ram- I'm rambling. No, that's okay. What do you guys think about like the way that they've decided to do this? That instead of just releasing yeah. it and letting people plow through it in a matter of two days, they have been extending it throughout the week. I mean, I know JP, you haven't really been. I don't think you have you been playing it at all. No, like, no, did no. You play I, the first I stay quarter? away from Hearthstone okay. as far as possible. so. I mean, but I'd still love to hear your your thoughts on on like that angle of it. I mean, it's smart. Think? I, I think that they're, they had, what, the annual uh, annual report sometime. It might have been last week or maybe on, like, Monday or Tuesday. And it, they made, like, uh, I, think, I think they made $104 million and they were projecting, like, maybe 40 oh or something God. like that in the just last quarter. From just from, oh, in the last quarter. Yeah. Wow. And, it, and the majority wow. of that is Hearthstone. Like, it's all Hearthstone. And that doesn't even count the expansion. Amazing. I mean, you guys... Uh, it's a money maker for they, sure. They're geni- they're they geniuses. did it again. Yeah, they, like they did Blizzard it again. proves that hey, you know we we're 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 not jogging, we're running, and you know what? we might misstep. But when I look back at, at my gaming history, like some of the games or, or most of the games I've been the most addicted to are all Blizzard games. I, I went through this with Warcraft, with World of Warcraft, with Warcraft, with Diablo. I mean, every time they they have that what whatever it is, they have that magic ingredient. I'm I'm that sorry, that was completely up. off. Nine hundred and seventy million. Just to <laughs> what are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> uh, for the the quarter ended on June thirtieth. Activision Blizzard GAP net revenues were nine hundred seventy million, as compared with one point uh, five billion the second quarter of twenty thirteen. Oh, so we're in the wrong goddamn still, career, right? man. But wait, uh, yeah. It was, I'm, I'm reading through this real quick. It was less, but they had Diablo, and they didn't have any other releases. The, the other that thing quarter, too, and this is kind of jumping away from Hearthstone. I had no idea that Diablo Three has sold 20 million copies yeah. worldwide. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. number kind of like it's I amazing. Like, kind of blows your that. mind a little bit, doesn't it? While still you know, got, we got a we, million subs, it's like they're just. I, I love the head. Yeah, I love the headlines this week about Wow that there was uh, people saying it was you know down to only. Seven million. That like there were articles written from like a negative point of view, and I guess you know, any downturn is always like not as good as an upturn. Yeah. But give me a fucking break. Seven million people are playing this game after ten years. That's, that's like that's, that's an amazing good. achievement. That is not bad news. Like, yeah. I mean, most games would kill for that number. Games Act, that come yeah. out now. Activision Publishing is going to have a crazy year because now they've got mm-hmm. this Hearthstone expansion. And then shipping next month is Destiny, which they're projecting to have. I think it's already been said that it's like the most pre-ordered game ever. Destiny? Pre-order sells, it's like the highest pre-orders ever in the history of, really? of games. Yeah. I mean, but is that is that something that's beaten a lot with like the Call of Duties every year? You know, I don't know. I don't I know. know. I, I, don't I, I know I've heard at least once with the Call of Duty oh. game, and maybe it was like Modern Warfare 2 or something like that. Oh, okay. I'm, uh, let me clarify. Pre-orders for the game are tracking towards an industry record for a new IP. So, oh, okay. Ah, okay. So Call of Duty probably has that. Piece. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. of course. For a new IP, <clears throat> that's still pretty impressive. So. That All is right. impressive. Hey, uh, so, so one thing on, uh, on Next Ramus, because yeah. you were starting to get into how um, 
how how we feel like it's being rolled out and how it's playing. There's one thing I wanted to ask you guys about because I, I find it weird, sort of, that the bosses, you're you're learning how to play the new cards or you're rewarded with the new cards by playing these bosses. Mm-hmm. And they, you know, the bosses are good and they, it seems like they spend a lot of time on the AI and everything, but it almost feels like like kind of a waste in a way. Like you don't ever get to actually play as those guys. Th- they sort of disappear after you beat them. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I suppose, the, <clears throat> I think the one thing, um, I mean, I look at it more as like it's a puzzle game that happens yeah. to be in a collectible card game. Like, yeah. You know, like I, the, I, I just don't know what else there. I have read some threads yeah. though, Jeff, that agree with you that say, you know, it'd be cool if like, say I could, I could make a custom game and you uh-huh. could choose, I want to be the right. four horsemen and I could choose, well, exactly. I want to be low Theb and using like the crazy, you know, pluses <laughs> that they have. And, but you know what? Like if, if that's a possibility and I could see blizzard eventually, doing something like that if they could bring the uh, the idea of the arcade in sort of a different way like yeah we have all spent all this time doing this they obviously yeah. populate those decks so yeah it, it could be done right? right some might kick the right. shit out of others but i i yeah i think that's something that it'll eventually come i don't know am i being yeah. too optimistic i mean the powers probably aren't balanced at all like chad is saying yeah but right. that's they, they would, would probably have to make a. Uh, well, they would have to make a new like ladder or a new, like unranked or something, or only Not allow it to be unranked. Totally, yeah, totally a custom game, like a yeah, casual, right. Right. casual it wouldn't count game. Wouldn't for anything. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So I, I that didn't really make me salty at all. Um, I was mm-hmm. I was rather impressed that every one is a different experience that it is like a puzzle. You know, hey, uh-huh. I'll just try to use this deck. Oh, God, that sucks ass. I know exactly what I need to do. <laughs> or or trying over and over and just refining. And, and uh-huh, you know, uh-huh. I mean, the, the heroics are brutal, too, man. Like, they are brutal. they brutal. are rough. There is a few that I've gotten super lucky on, and there's a couple that uh-huh. I've had to, like, fight with strategy. But I have really enjoyed that aspect of it. They're so brutal that they make me laugh. I can't, I can't get mad. The first time you see it, some of the hero powers, you're just like, seriously? Like, there's just no way. I'm pretty sure yeah. my wife has heard me say fuck you to my <laughs> iPad more times since Nax has been released than ever. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I've, I've heard my roommate plays a lot, uh, or at least has been playing the new stuff. Uh, and He plays late night, so like, I'll be going to sleep. And it's usually like, a, <laughs> fuck! Oh, you got fucked, you motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's usually where he stops is when, when that starts going off. <laughs> and so I just hear little sound bites like that uh, that keep me away from the game. That, that's why I, <laughs> I learned to walk. I, I now walk away from the iPad. I walk away. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, right. I, I just don't have interest in it. Let's move on. We got a lot of shit to talk about. Let's move we on. do. JP8, you um, got a long list, why don't you? Yeah, so just you guys tell me where you want me to stop. I'm not going to talk uh-huh. about every single one of these games. Uh, Final Fantasy X HD for the PS3. I got a couple questions. Did you play okay. the uh, when it first came out? Uh, only to where you fight Seymour in the winter place. So are you going to finish this? or? Yes. Okay, and you think the HD is good? Uh, the voice acting is probably the worst I've ever heard it in is. any JRPG. It is. So you can't change that to Japanese? No, there's no Japanese voice tracks in the international release, which is kind of <coughs> shitty, but I got it for 20 bucks. I'm okay with that. Okay, it's got two fine. games in it. Never going to play Final Fantasy X2. It's who the fuck it would. But, uh, but yeah, it's, I'm it enjoying it. It still has an amazing soundtrack. And okay, uh, that's interesting. Uh, when you're done uh, with it, we'll, we'll talk. Yeah. Can I ask uh, a question? Is, was, you mentioned Seymour. Is that the name of a boss? That's like the what bad guy in it, yeah. And he's, the bad he's guy's like, named Seymour? He's like the worst bad guy, yeah. It's Seymour. And his voice is like okay. the most calming piece of shit voice. Like the voice acting is terrible, Jeff. It is, it is fucking god awful. There's a laugh scene that is like, oh, uh, is it according? Across, is it according to Jim Bad? Yes, yes. A, okay. a, a across video gaming, the entire <laughs> video game sphere, it is probably the worst voice <laughs> acting scene I have ever That's... seen in any game ever. I like. It, I had to take my headphones off. Is it Peter Dinklage in you know Destiny Bad? I don't it's know. Worse. It's ten dude, times worse than that. I don't know because the original Resident Evil, 
Like obviously, oh, yeah. the master these, of lock picking. That's a pretty uh, the master point. of lock picking. But in the in the very first scene when it when it starts up, they enter into the house and they're like, "Where's Barry? I think he." <laughs> and then the conversation just like continues on, and it's just like. <laughs> Oh fuck! That man. might be worse. Of course, I, at the I, time I, I'm, I'm like, they're talking, it. man. Like this is spoken <laughs> speech and shit. Yeah, I have such fond memories of that game. I don't know <laughs> if I would want to go back to it. Uh, but yeah, it's it's Final Fantasy. It's it's probably the last good Final Fantasy apart from Twelve, which I really enjoyed. Uh, but apart from that, like the voice acting has just got awful. But I'm I'm enjoying the yeah. combat. That's what's keeping me there. Good. Uh, could could not give two fucks about the story. It's basically me just making fun of it the entire time, which some Final Fantasy diehard fans are like really upset about, and they're like, "God, this guy's destroying every cutscene." It's like, "Hey, man, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna Did make fun make of the, the game. game." Yeah. <laughs> if I didn't make it, whatever. I put so yeah. many hours into so this, and you're just it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, played some Elite Dangerous yesterday. Do you guys have any idea I what that is? I have no idea, but I'm about to look that shit up. It is a, uh, it's a, f uh, it's basically Wing Commander. Oh yeah, I have heard oh, so about this. Like, this is the one that's like in the... actual elite. Yeah, it's... yeah, it, yeah. It's actually nice. elite, but dangerous. Wow. <laughs> so is this the, the one that has snake. the really cool like cockpit when you get in? Yep. So yep. it's basically like a done version of Star Citizen. Uh, yes, but you can't get out of your ship. You oh. can like dock in uh, in like ports and like shop and stuff, but there's no actual avatar. Yo, or yo, yo! This looks dope as fuck. So tell it's me why cool. you're not just playing it all the time. Because I don't have a joystick. Oh. I I have this thing which I found in my closet, but I like I had to wear I can't get it out. I had to get like uh, some gloves because it's sticky and I don't know why. It's just like the rubber is, right. I think it's gotten old and it just collects everything. So I'm like wearing these gloves yesterday trying to play this game. Oh my God. <laughs> With this giant yeah. toy stick in front of me. So how, I, how beta is, is it? Uh, I mean, it, it works. There's, there's functional, uh, like everything that you're seeing on this, this screen is all there in game. Um, the, the online stuff, you're mostly fighting AI stuff. So it's but, not multiplayer? Uh, there's no, it is like billion, the online stuff is multiplayer. Four hundred billion star systems, and I'm alone. No, th there will be other players, but again, it's still like it's pretty early on in the beta. So I shouldn't play uh, it until it's out. Yeah, I, I would say wait a little while. It's seventy five bucks to jump in right now as well. Oh, it's a little bit. Nice. Um, Can we see those gloves one more time? Yeah. Oh, I don't think snow. people saw the gloves. Let me. There's snow yeah, gloves. There you go. Nice. Because it snows all the time where JP lives. Yeah. It's, He's probably just it's happy. Ridiculous. It. Playing a game with, like, that's the normal size of my hand. This is how big <laughs> it is. It's, it was quite ridiculous. It was the only thing I could do, though. I didn't know how else to, to solve that problem. If you die, uh -huh. you lose your ship. Ooh. Yep. And, and the dog fighting is really cool. Like, I'm style. thinking about potentially buying a proper joystick for the game. Because, like, really? I've, I've watched other streams. Basically, my hour and a half with it was me fumbling around with the fucking controls, which I think is probably going to be everyone's yeah. first hour and a half because yeah. they're very control intensive. Um, is that a tax write off for you? A joystick? Uh, you know, it probably would and be. And the gloves, dude. And the gloves. And the gloves. And the gloves. And the game. Well, it's probably all tax write off. Yep. Yeah. It is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it seems pretty cool. Uh, I want to jump into it and actually like play the game rather than just fucking around with some shitty joysticks. Um, so I might actually get. I think you can actually hook it up to uh, like a Xbox 360 gamepad, uh, from what people are telling me, and it's it's functional. So I might do something like that instead of buying a joystick, because I don't want to get into that world of jo man. Those things <coughs> get expensive quick. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Like, oh, yeah. like four or five hundred dollars quick. Like. Oh yeah. It's uh, it's pretty nuts. Right. Have you ever if if have you ever like seen dudes who like deck out their entire, you know, their entire. Yeah. Game space, like a real cockpit, that yep. kind of shit. And I think that stuff's rad. I think that's like, oh, it is. It's amazing. It's a great way yeah. to get involved or get into something like that. Uh, I just don't know if I ever could. <laughs> that seems. Oh yeah, that wouldn't be me. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I when I was uh, when I was at Computer Gaming Org magazine, at, at at some point, I I I was reviewing those kind of games, and I had to bring all this shit to my house. So I was reviewing racing games, 
And this is okay. back in like the, the glory PC days of like ninety eight, say. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if either of you were alive, but but I was. When and, and, when I, what and I and I already had a job. Um, yeah. So, uh, but uh, attached to my my desk at home, and I sh- at this time I shared the office with my wife, who was uh, who was teaching at a university. So she's at her desk doing all this academic work, and I'm at my desk, and I've got a racing wheel attached <laughs> to the <laughs> to the desk, two two foot pedals on the ground. And I'm sitting there, and headphones on, and I'm sitting there, you know, right, like right. this, while she's, yeah, like, we're both, we're working, honey. <laughs> she likes like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> she likes like, that, but she's like a re- retarded boyfriend at that time. <laughs> yeah. Her yeah. academic friends would come over, and she would just be like, yeah, it's whatever. Just it's my ass. Don't talk to him. <laughs> Feed him Cheetos and, and walk away. There you go. All right, there let's keep moving. Uh, I'll do one more battle royale. I've been playing the probably that the most the past two weeks. I've been seeing uh, it a it's lot. an Arma three mod that is just like the movie. Uh, you start off and you get parachuted in. There's 32 to 48 other players in the game that are parachuting from the same plane, and you guys hit the ground. You have no guns or anything. You go and basically just collect guns and you kill each everyone. It's all it's a free for all. Uh, it's created. It's it's basically if you took every like crazy moment in Daisy, and I think I've probably talked about it on the show. I think um, it just you took every moment moments, in Daisy, right? And wanted to have those moments faster and more frequently. You jump in a battle royale, and it forces these moments. Each game takes around probably an hour if you're in the final two. The second you die, you're immediately booted from the server, and you have no idea how you died. That's all you get. Wow, There's nothing else. Damn, um, harsh. But if you make it down to the final two, it's probably like one of the tensest games you can play because you're like fucking crawling on the ground in a uh the the uh there's a circle that constantly shrinks so it forces you to go towards other players at all times Uh, and if you're outside the circle you die smart uh there's random bombs that drop i thought i saw you like specking when I do have spectator ability through the devs. They they give it to certain streamers. Oh, I see. So when you die, you just go into spec mode. Yeah, gotcha, so I can actually gotcha. see how I mm. died, which is even worse mm. because most mm-hmm. of the time it's someone on my stream that's really good by the name of Malabod, and I just can't stand it. I get I get so salty and so raged. I start I the insult, insults start flying from me, and then I'm just like, ah, I probably shouldn't have said that. But <laughs> boot him. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm just like, let's ban him. Don't play in the uh-huh. next game. Don't join on the next game, Malabod. I hate you so much. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's an incredible game. I, I have a super, super amount of fun with it. Uh, and I'll probably be playing that a lot in the future. But What, what else have you guys been playing? Cause we, I see a game on there that actually is the next game that I've been playing. Uh, so I have one other question before we move on sure. from Battle Royale. And that is, like, you've been playing it now for about a month. Yep. Um, I assume that there's been like pretty frequent updates to the game or uh, no not really like uh, so okay the devs are are constantly we're we're having conversations a lot i think they're trying to actually form a league around this uh they've been talking with Ryan uh one of my good friends Ryan uh from the role play world uh who's actually the tur- one of the tournament uh admins for MLG and i think they're going to try to put like a tournament with actual structure around it and and put points and have like the best players and things like that. So I'm interested to see where that goes. But apart from that, the game, they, they have plans to add things like survival in terms of uh, like drinking water and stuff like that into the game. But uh, they have not yet. So do you think so that we'll that see. will be, do you think that that will make it better or more? Um, I'm, I think they said that it's going to be based server to server. So some servers will have that on and some won't. I would probably be a little bit annoyed if I'm like in a fight and it's like, oh, I got to drink some water. I got to drink water right mm-hmm. now or I'm going to die. Like, I, I personally don't care for that. I yeah, think the game is yeah. great how it yeah. is right now. Um, but I could see how some people would want that element in this there. That's my favorite part, extra. by the way. When everyone What's parachutes that? in. Oh, yeah, when everyone parachutes oh, in. Cool. Yeah. The best part, the, the funniest moments are when like people try to dive bomb and go all the way down and then hit the parachute at the last second. <laughs> and then they fuck the parachute up and just slam it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like real life. Yeah, and it's happened to me before. Uh, I've stepped away from the computer and the game started, and I've come back and just been like, fuck. Just dead. <laughs> it's like, you're dead. Because <laughs> I missed the parachute moment. Eh. And yeah. 
Yeah. That's awesome. But uh, this is like, you can only get an experience like this in Arma 3. Uh, the mods that that game has. Mm. Uh, like, one of the most common questions is, is this game worth 60 bucks? Mm. And the amount of mods it has and the amount of different gameplay mm -hmm. or, or the varying gameplay that you can get from all of those is absolutely insane. Uh, is it's this a on fantastic Steam? game. Is this where you got this? Yes. It, uh, Arma okay. 3 is on Steam, yeah. Yeah. And the, the mod is free. You just download the mod and, oh, and you're I good see. to go. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, huh. Fantastic game, though. Super, re really loving that. Reed's already invested in what he's watching. <laughs> yeah, it's I. This is what happens when I watch JP stream. Like it, I I always hate when I come in and and the game's not about to start or there's just a few people left because you know I I know what I've missed or yeah. Anyway, so there's some funny moments. Good, yeah, there's some funny shit. The fun, I got, like I got my wife to shit to to actually totally get into it. Because it is, like, at just the raw concept of, yo, 30 people parachute in, like, try to survive. It's it's just awesome. There's a story yeah. being yeah. told in every game that's being played. Yeah. And yeah. it's unique. Like, you know, obviously my wife would never in a million fucking years sit down and play this game. But if I'm uh -huh. like, yo, J JP's playing Battle Royale, like, we could watch <laughs> it for two hours. So Yeah. And the, ga the game is uh, large enough and expansive enough to where, like, you you'll find range finders every now and then and uh you can like pop into your range finder and look like a kilometer away of real distance and like see someone just like walking through <laughs> it's the hill and you're like oh that motherfucker i gotta go get him and then like as you're walking over to him three people are watching you just hike through the forest <laughs> <laughs> with their with their uh their iron sights on you like should i take this shot it's gonna give away my position it's gonna be loud do i have a silencer on the gun i could probably do it or I could just go loot that building and hope that it hasn't been looted yet. Like huh. the decisions that you make and the things that happen in the game are absolutely insane. I, I think I'm sold. I think I'm gonna get Arma Three. Another it, sale for the you. The one thing, Jeff, that I will say is, yeah, when you first play the game, there yep. are so many different fucking things you have to learn right away that it's gonna be a little bit much to oh do. Oh boy! Like really? the control scheme for this game is crazy, and so that, like. WASD is all obviously like moving forward, but if you hold down control, uh -huh. your gun will like go up oh, when you hit W, or if you hit S, your gun will go down, or if you hit L or A, it'll go over to the left, and then you can lean. Like it's a very advanced control scheme. There are things like you can go prone and then control W, uh -huh. and your guy will sit up kind of like with his legs out and like lean over so you can get a little bit better, a little uh -huh. bit higher shot. Um, and there's definitely like little nuances like that that you need to learn, but. And it doesn't I'm, teach you it. So it doesn't, I might be too old for this game. And there's no, Not there's, insane. there's. Uh, watch it realistic. first. Watch, yeah. Definitely watch right. it first. Yeah. There's, uh, there's bullet drop so much so that it's like probably one of the most realistic shooters you'll play. Um, huh. So it's not just like put the cursor on someone and shoot. If you're looking through a, a scope and it has like a, a, a zoom on it, it's gonna actually adjust for the bullet drop for that. Uh, wow. range and if you're shooting someone that's five feet from you and looking through the scope that's zoomed in you're going to completely miss even if your cursor is right on them because it's adjusting for that already right. which is a real fucking pain in the ass sometimes Crazy. it sounds like a lot of work it is but once you like get through that after about an hour or so uh it starts to make a lot of sense so you could you could totally try it i, I think they have tutorials in the game that'll teach you most of that but you're going to be like really confused when you get into it just forewarning I'm always really confused, so whatever. <laughs> I, can't I just go through life that way. I jumped into it, and I was just like, this is ridiculous. This is way too much. But uh, after about a couple hours, I started catching on. So definitely play or watch someone first. Uh, or watch someone play it, I mean. I'm going to watch you play. You should. You should. You should, but just forewarning, I curse a lot. I get really upset. Oh, it's not, it's not uh, I've, I've said some really foul things on the stream that I wish <laughs> I could not. I wish I would not have said. And I immediately have to like, well, that VOD's deleted. <laughs> Let's make sure that doesn't stay on the internet. Uh, it's a lot of fun, though. Is your mom a subscriber? Uh, you know, my parents actually do watch my stream from time to time, and I have no really? idea when they're watching. And I'll get a text from my mom, and she's like, John, Paul, don't curse like that. <laughs> 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 and I just I like, love shut it. up, mom. I love it. <laughs> just let me stream. So, so yeah. All right. Battle uh, Royale. 
Um, so we both have this on our list, and that's The Wolf Among Us. The final chapter was released, so you can play it out uh, in full. And that means that anyone who's been saying, oh, I'll wait till it comes out, or you want to wait to catch it on a sale, yeah, now's the, now's the time. Uh, as a fan of The Source Fables, which is coming to a close, uh, I believe, uh, just a few episodes or a few issues away, maybe six or seven, and uh, I... I loved the shit out of this. I thought it was fantastic. Um, I, I thought it was just, you know, great. I, I don't think it had as much um, emotional value as The Walking Dead. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of that comes from just the characters in Walking Dead were characters sure. that could pull something like that. But sure. I was more interested in this and kind of like, a, like that guy's a badass and also more interested right. in the actual story of it, like the, the, mm -hmm. um, like the detective side of it, I guess is probably the, I wanted to see how that unfolded. Uh, mm -hmm. but I, I actually really enjoyed it. I, you, I was pretty happy with that. You make a pretty fantastic point, JP, in that, like you could probably sit down, uh, you know, someone who has no idea what the walking dead is, have them play that game and still mm -hmm. make an emotional attachment to the characters. Mm -hmm. Right. Whereas, the Wolf Among Us, like that emotional attachment to the characters is far greater if you have read the comics. There are, you know, like, dude, I was getting crazy emotional while playing the game to the point where, like, there's a couple things that happened where I was like, holy shit, like, I, you know. And Walking Dead? No, in The Wolf Among Us. Really? Yes, but that's because, because I am very intimate with, the source. So to me is like, it's really interesting experiment for, for telltale in terms of like adapting the comic book format. It makes me wonder how borderlands will do because borderlands is one that's a fan favorite, almost a cult favorite, if you will. And I think people do attach to those characters the way they present mm -hmm. them. So mm -hmm. the wolf among us would still seem to be popular, but from the people who know fables and the people that don't, I feel like the, the impact you said it had is exactly what most people and I actually explain. wanted to read the book, the source material, after playing it because I did enjoy the characters so much. So I haven't started yet, but I think I am going to start <laughs> reading Fables just because it, it, it's a great book. The and way that they take on the character seems really <clears throat> good. Yeah, and I think that's part of the thing is that, you know, the difference between Walking Dead and Wolf Among Us. I mean, if, you're, if you have not read Fables, you know, it, it's a pretty crazy, surreal world you're walking into, mm -hmm. whereas, whereas Walking Dead you don't have to have any familiarity with the comic book or TV show or whatever to imagine yourself in this kind of environment. I mean, yeah, right. G given that neither is really like realistic, at least walking dead is like a recognizable earth. Right. Whereas yeah. Wolf among us is a fantasy world essentially. Right. Um, and also, you know, like DJ said, I mean, they, they go into the, the, the backstory of those, of those um, fairy tale characters so well and their stories are also like kind of, um, you know, in some cases they're like sad stories or whatever. Right. And so if you if you know that going into the game, it just sort of adds that level of uh, of engagement for you. Dude, you know? I mean, and I'm not going to I won't spoil anything, but I will say that, like, you see characters that have such a <clears throat> significant, like significant. A place in the fables timeline and maybe right, yeah. like and i've heard you say that multiple like times, expi yeah. and you might only see them for like half a second but it's like it, yeah. the things they say the little things that just seem like normal dialogue is just it has like the fucking biggest just like holy shit impact for a, a fanboy like you know like me so yeah i i love that but i appreciate the fact that you know maybe it doesn't hit that way um, uh -huh. and that's a harder one to do with with that yeah. So somebody in chat said that you know even if you if you haven't pl played, uh, uh, even if you haven't read the book, everybody knows the characters. Exactly. Which is exactly. Which, which is true. That's definitely Very true. Cool. But I think the the level that you're getting from the comic book is is that they they do have different takes on all those characters, right? Like right. yes, you know you know who the big bad wolf is, right? But you don't know this take on the big bad wolf and like what his particular back backstory is. I'm not saying it's not possible to have enjoyment out of it it's just that reading the comic book just adds that other layer right well yep. so jeff here's an interesting take on it too is because when i play these games like i play them kind of weird right 
I, I, it's hard to explain, but I would always answer just sort of how I would answer. You know how the stream's always yeah. like, yeah, go against it. But I'm like, I'm not the guy that normally does mm -hmm. that unless I, like there's a compelling reason to, to do that. When it mm -hmm. came to when it came to the wolf among us, like there were decisions that I would just make without thinking about it because I know the story uh. where it's like that makes no sense that Big B mm -hmm. would say that shit. So mm -hmm. I'm going to say mm -hmm. this. Which, mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. is kind of, like, goofy, and I'm even commenting on it while I'm playing, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I've not really played a game like that where I'm just like, well, <laughs> I already know that this happens in the future, so mm -hmm. there's no way that this, you know, it's <laughs> it's just, it's odd. It's not a strike against the game. It's sure. just, it's kind of cool how um, different people can get something different out of that, out of that game. Yeah. I, I really love what Telltale does too about the you know showing the the results of the decision making and I love that part. Yeah, how you did yeah. against other players. And I, it's such I'm a cool thing. when I'm in like the large percentage. I want to be like the lower <laughs> yeah. percentage. The guy. And there was a couple yeah. one where it was like ninety percent of people did X, uh -huh. and like only ten percent did Y. And I always did Y, and I was so proud of that. <laughs> Even though it makes no fucking like it has no actual value to that. Of course I just not. enjoy right. being the guy that does something else. Yeah. And I, I really enjoy those stats. They're they're fantastic. They they even give you a bigger readout at the end of all of it than I think yeah. oh, I yeah. ever saw in, in Walking Dead. I don't know if they did that at the end of Walking Dead as well. But they yeah. do. Yeah, they do. It's a pretty good game. Good stuff. Good stuff. What else? Jeff, you been playing anything else besides Hearthstone or just working? Uh, I've been working so hard. Like I, I've been so off the grid. You know, I haven't live streamed basically. I think since I saw you guys last, because I've been so yeah. fucking busy. But uh, but I did play. Uh, I did get a chance to play. And I don't think we've recorded since it happened. Maybe I don't think so. The uh, the Destiny beta. Yeah. So I so I played a shit ton of that. And I know it's kind of old news. We don't need to go on and on about Destiny at this point. But um, but I did it? have a but I did have a good experience with it. I did. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think there's a lot of questions that need to be answered. You know, right. that we just don't know. Like, and I, I my take. Especially after reading some of the follow-up that, that went after the beta closed, Luke Smith went up on NeoGAF and he had some interviews talking about the late game content <clears throat> and the level cap. And I really think that's where a lot of it is going to net out or not. You know, right. like I, I, I think oh. it, it, it's clearer that we're going to rip through uh, the fir th those first 20 levels very fast. But I think that they know that. And I think that there's a lot more that we do don't know about what's going to happen after that right. so but you think so, there is more i do yeah i mean they, listening to them talk chunk. about the the raid yeah. structures i mean apparently the raids are supposed to be insane you know right. like like multi-day affairs kind of like the the big wow raids so yeah. i so i have a question like are the loot tables similar to say a borderlands kind of uh kind of Okay. Well, I mean, the reason I ask is because Borderlands, even though they had a, and did a great job on DLC, you know, at the end of the day, like there are people that would play through that game like nobody's business, the items, and then yeah. they would just like kind of play for items and whatnot. I'm just wondering yeah. if Destiny has that similar. It it has appeal. that like loot or feel to it because uh, there's mm -hmm. always like a better gun. Um, I think. Right. It, it's a very interesting thing they do with the different guns because there's so many different types. Yeah, that uh, the, the, you don't really expect to be in a shooter like this where they actually do have like really different firing modes and things like that or That's firing right. types. And you can uh, customize every weapon, you know. Yeah, it, right. like, a weapon, a, a a weapon will level up over time to where right. it, if you do yeah. a certain thing with it more, then you could like upgrade the a sight on it or something like right. that, I think. And it also so, offers you like multiple upgrade paths for the weapon too. Exactly. Like, you can do this or that. So exactly. there, there's a lot of decision making in there that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. you've got three categories of weapons, right? You've got your your uh, your main weapon, your secondary. Uh, secondary, and then special. I guess is what they call the third one, which is like a missile launcher or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Or sniper. Which, I think a sniper rifle is also in that one. I'm, I don't. Sniper know. rifle is in uh, second. Uh, shit. I it might have been main. I I don't. It's been a while. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been a while. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of upgrade paths for, for your weapons and for yourself as a character. Um, and I also know that, um, you know, you hit level 20, um, 
you hit level 20, which is a hard lock at, at la on launch day, except that with your equipment and your gear, you actually over level. So when you have certain stuff on, you are now level 21 or 22 or whatever. And those are the levels, those higher levels are what you, you'll need to be to even join a raid. So the point being that you're, you know, the game is going to require you basically to grind for the gear that you need to actually participate in the higher end stuff. But then some of the complaints that came out this week were that they said that there's not necessarily going to be any sort of matchmaking for that. Is the raids accurate? will not have matchmaking. So right. what do you, what do you It'll I mean? It'll only be friends. There were only no, be friends. Only be friends. So, okay. Like you can only do it with friends on your friends list. How you, do you think no that matchmaking. will, because they're talking about 10 people raids. Like, I mean, I, for some people that is not necessarily was it an 10? issue. I, I thought it was six. Or Did was it six? 10? I think it's six, but even that's a lot. Maybe that's I a lot of people to, to have to know. I uh, mean, I it's really interesting. Like more realistic. I don't know I, six people. I think the game will honestly do amazing because it, it really is oh, kind yeah. of like it's taking everyone that loves the Call of Duties, the Halo, of course, because it's Bungie, yeah. like all console shooters, which is pretty much almost every game to come out on a console in the past 10 years, and like introducing all of that to the MMO world with yeah. some, like very slightly, like not the full MMO world, but very. Things that, as someone who's played WoW, me and Jeff, and I think, well, we, you've yep. seen MMOs, you understand MMOs. Like, we see what is the, the carrot on the stick in that game. And I think that for FPS players that have never played anything like that, they're going to be blown away with how addictive they find this game. Right. I, I kind of think so, too, especially yeah. because, the, because the combat holds up. And the combat so, is great. So they're not, they're not being compromised on that aspect of it. It's not like it's an MMO with some shooty stuff, but the shooting sucks. This is yeah. actually like a great shooter with MMO stuff attached. Exactly. Um, and, uh, but, but I think what's interesting, and, and I've been thinking about this a lot, the difference between this and, and MMOs, a lot of it is about the communication with the, with, with, the, uh, with the players in the community in the game because they really did limit it. And it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Like, for example, the only verbal chat there is at all is when you're on a fire team, which is a group of three players. So, right. which is great that they have that. So that means that the three of us, for example, could could go do a strike mission and we could all talk to each other over our headsets. And it's and it's great that there is not world open verbal chat, right? Because it would just be a bunch of kids it, all yeah. screaming at each other. So that would be impossible. Damn it, that gun! I saw it first. <laughs> but 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 what's weird to me, or it's just sort of a disconnect, is, and I don't know how they pull it off. So they probably made the right decision. But it does strike me as odd, like when you're at the tower which is sort of the communal group area where you do see like tons and tons of people. It's like the shopping area that yeah. there's no either there or even in the world in general, there's no text chat either. There's no like world chat. So even though you're seeing a whole lot of players in the game, you can't actually type anything. You can't say like, Hey, does anybody know what would be a good upgrade for blah, blah, blah. Like you can't right. commute. You can't communicate with oh. players in the world. None of that happens at all. All you can do really Good do is, is dance. There's like a dance button. Yeah, and, they, have, you know, they have emotes on all their D-pads. <laughs> and, like, you Woo! know, granted that the dancing videos that have been online are, are pretty awesome. But still, it would be nice to be able to do more than, than that in the game, just MMO-wise. Anyway, I, I was impressed, though, overall. I mean, I want to play it. I'm excited totally for it. it. I'm actually glad that I haven't been able to touch the beta. Um, yeah, because I'll get a totally unique experience. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it. Uh, I, I think on launch, me and my brother are definitely going to be doing like a 24 hour stream for it. Like I'm really wow. amped for it. It's, it should be a lot of fun. So it looks so, yeah. like a bunch of game. Yeah, uh, it does. Which is a good thing. Should we should we take a quick break? Uh, I just messaged you. I mean, do you just want to go for another hour and not take a break? It's totally up to you guys, but I'm totally comfortable with just. Are you? Through. I mean, sure. I'm. I'm fine with that too. If Jeff, Jeff is. does that work for you? Jeff, oh, I think he's lagging a little bit. Okay. Um, well, well, I only get more coffee, but I could do. I, I could do without it. Well, am I with you or not? Uh, I think you're yeah, there. you're lagging a little bit. Uh, so we'll, uh, you want to take a quick break, JP, then? 
You're here. Now. Yeah, let, let, we'll fix Jeff's uh, <laughs> camera and stuff like that. All right, guys, we're lucky. gonna take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll do our second hour of eight bits. Finish up what we've been playing. Talk a little bit about what's in the news and uh, a little bit more. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Huh. 